Hey devs, you are listening to Bilal Amjad and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how we can define different styles in our UWP application. So till now, we have seen lots of things in UWP and this video lesson will be the last one of my UWP series for beginners. Because if you have watched my video lesson series, then I hope you are now capable of developing a UWP application using different layouts can add navigations through simple buttons or by showing a beautiful hamburger menu and I hope now you can bind data with controls and can design your own controls according to the requirements. And the most important, I believe now you are capable of integrating web services, a kind of JSON APIs to get response from server and can use share contracts to share data between applications like Facebook, Twitter, Mail, etc. So let's proceed. Now, before jumping in, let's discuss what are styles and why they are important and how they actually work. So, styles are basically defined and used because of their reusability. You can define them once and can apply to related controls wherever you need in the entire application. Or if you want to apply them in any other app, just take out the style file and fit into that project. Just like a CSS file, which we have in HTML, where we define all our styling and later we apply it on our entire website. So like CSS file in HTML, we have resource dictionary in UWP. Remember, we can define our styles in either app.xaml or in any resource dictionary file to use them in any page in our application as they can be accessed globally. So let's get the ball rolling and see how this thing works. Here I have already created an empty project for you guys just to save your time. I am going to add a text block and let's align it to the center of my screen. I am giving a text property to this text block. This is this video lesson on styles in UWB and the foreground is uh, black font size is equal to 30 and the font family should be story UI and font weight should be light like this so, as you can see, I have applied so many properties here just to uh, give some style to my text block. Now, what if I need the same styling for another text block? Obviously, I will apply the same styling properties to that text block also, just like this. If I add a stack panel and I am going to place this text block inside this stack panel and I have just copied this text block and I'm going to paste it again. These two text blocks share the same properties. Let me change the text just to distinguish them. I'm going to give it a name of my website like this. Both text blocks have different text but they have same styling properties. So you can see the XAML code for these text blocks is quite long. They are sharing the same properties. Don't you think this is quite a wastage of time and also you need to work more? Why we can't uh, define these uh, styles just in one page and we can access them from there? Let's see how we can do this. I'm going to my app.xaml file here. I'm going to define my resources. These resources can be my styles. This can be resource dictionary. So let's apply some style. Now, for defining a style, you need to define a target type as well. And the target type here is text block. Because I am going to apply this style on a text block, so the target type will also be a text block. And every style have a key like this. Maybe I'm saying heading one, just like this. Remember, if you miss this key, then, then the style will be applied to all the text blocks 
not just to one on which you want so always give a key i am going to define my properties here in a style tags you have to use set tags to set the uh, properties of that text block or any control so setter is asking you which property you want to set I will say the property is font family like this and the value is Sigoi UI light like this again I'm going to set another property and the pro that property is uh, font size and the value is 30 again similarly I'm going to assign another property and that's uh, margin and the value is 10 and I'm going to assign another property setter property is equal to foreground and the value is uh, black So now I'm going to remove all these properties from here and only text property is there like this. Now I want to use my style. This is simple. Just use style property. We have defined as a theme resource and here is a here we go. Heading one. All those properties which I have defined in as a heading one have been applied to this text block. So I want to align it in, on the center of my screen as well. I will say set setter property horizontal alignment value should be center like this. And I will say style again. So this is how you can define uh, style on the targeted control, maybe text block, maybe grids, maybe stack panels, maybe a text box or any other XAML control. You can apply styles to them. This was how we can define our style in app.xaml. But what if we want to define our style in our own design file or a resource dictionary file? Just right click your project and we have to add a new resource dictionary file. How we can do that? Let's see. Here you have an option to add a resource dictionary file. I am going to say that the name of this resource dictionary file is styles. Like this. Now, notice that it is somehow similar to your app.xaml file. Just the tags are opening and uh, closing tags are of resource dictionary but you can just define your style directly here no need to use app.resources tags etc so i'm going to just pick this style from my application.resources from my app.xaml file and i'm going to place that here like this All right, now there are two methods to include a resource dictionary. One approach is you can just add the path of your resource dictionary to your app.xaml file. And app.xaml file is by default can be accessible through all the pages of UWP application. So just define the path of your resource dictionary file in app.xaml and it will automatically be accessible from all the pages. Or you can access uh, them in a separate page every time you need in page.resources. Let's see how we can do that. In application.resources, I am going to use merge dictionaries option. So open resource dictionary tag. Like this. Now I will give a path of my resource dictionary here and the path is styles.xaml like this. 
Now if I go back to my main page.xamr file, you see styles are again applied to my text block because they are still accessible from my app.xamr file. Like see why they are accessible because I have defined them in styles.xaml and I have merged this style uh, style sheet with app.xaml file. Now whatever I define in this style file or the resource dictionary file will be accessible to all the pages of your UWP application. And what if I remove it from here? I don't want to use it in app.xaml file. I want to use it in my page only. Then open the tag of page.resources and just place that code here. Resource dictionary, you have to then define the merge dictionaries and inside that you have to define the path of your resource dictionary. So now your style.xaml file and all the styles in it can be accessible in main page.xaml file only. Uh, now they are not accessible to all the files in the UWP because we have merged it in the app dot, uh, main page.xaml file only. So if you want to access them in all pages, uh, either you can add them separately as a header or uh, in a page or resources, or you can define them in app.xaml file like this. So this is how we can apply styles to our application. If you have idea of using CSS file, then you can work with this merge dictionary quite well. So if you have any kind of question or ambiguity, just ping me on the details being displayed on your screen. Thank you for watching my video. Happy coding.